Maestro? Maestro. Okay. Um, one, if you don't mind, yes. let's just kind of uh, start right over because I'm going to I'm going to have to edit this and I'm just going to take out the beginning. So if you don't mind, can we just basic? Can we just kind of just start over? Mag start over na ano? Okay, so mag start over kano? Mag start over. Mag start over. Start from the beginning. Okay, I'm going to start the. I show you from the beginning. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. So let me introduce you, Maestro. I'm going to introduce you now. I'm just because I'm going to edit the. So I'm just going to start like we're just starting fresh right now. I'll give yeah. you yes. uh, the FMA discussion. This is episode 178, and today we have the honor of having Maestro Boy Garcia on. And today helping me will be Tom Pena, Guru Tom yeah. Pena, and Julius. I think. Good evening, everybody. Good morning. And all that, Master Boy. Hello, Good everybody. Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, Dean, oh, Tom. Oh, yeah. And, uh, thank you for, to have you for helping me to to introduce Yao Yan in your FMA discussion. And yesterday, it is a good uh, a good signal. <laughs> but <laughs> good. Yeah, maybe because it's a lockdown in in our uh, province. Yeah. I feel so bad for you guys. I hope you guys yeah, can yeah, do it so way. I know. And, uh, yesterday, I already introduced uh, Yao Yan. Uh, lots of your uh, viewers, they have already. Yeah, yeah. You can hear me? Yeah, oh. clear. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that's that's that, that, clear. That's clear. Yes. Uh, uh, yesterday we already talked about uh, uh, the origin of Yao Yan and what is Yao Yan. Yao Yan is, uh, aside from a uh, Filipino martial arts, is a uh, unique martial arts, different uh, martial arts. Our counterpart in Asia is uh, Muay Thai and Sometimes there are penjaks a lot, but mostly in our in my competition, mostly my opponents are from uh, from Muay Thai and uh, kickboxing. Yeah, Muay Thai kickboxing. Yeah, yeah, and on full contact tournament. Now, but but Yao Yan is is uh, different uh, from uh, Muay Thai, especially the way. The way they fight, our uh, standing position. So the standing position of Yao Yan is uh, Muay Thai is is a flat footed, it's flat footed. Yao Yan is uh, where it's just like a bird. When when they when they run in the water, they only touch the toe. The toe only touch the ground. Okay. That's why bird are bird are more faster than duck. If you're a duck walking, you you're you're slow. You cannot you mm. cannot run fast. That's why we were we are just like a bird. Mm. When 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 we fight, uh, our show show my I just show some. Uh, some some footwork. Sure. Yeah. Up, up to here. Okay. Okay, yep. so our footwork is lifted. Lifted like like this guarded. You're guarded. So different footwork. Why type footwork? Why type positions like this? Mm -hmm. the one, mm. one lifted. The one in the back, flat. If you have this yeah. position, you have weapon going backward. It's hard, it's slow. Mm. Not, not even uh, Muay Thai. Like even though you you have different style, if your position is is flat footed, you cannot move faster. You cannot move backward. You cannot move forward. And then you try to to move your 
your foot lifted like this. You can move Fast. backward. Fast. You can mm -hmm. move. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so that is the difference. So in, in fighting, in fighting position, uh, footwork. Footwork is very, very important. If you yeah. don't have a good footwork, you will, you will not win to the competition, you know? So Maestro, I, uh, Maestro, I had a, Maestro, I had a question. Yes. So it seems like Yayon is, it, it, they're more mobile than the Thai boxing practitioner as far as that. Is, is that fair? Their, mo their mobility seems to be better? Yeah, Are yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. That's why mo mobility is very important. If, if yeah. you you stance like a bigger position like this, it 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 it's affect your mobility. Like yeah. you cannot backward, you cannot yeah, move it, forward. It, yeah, it grounds you, but you can't step fast yes. enough. Yes, in this position, when when I when I joined the comp the competition, in okay before. When when I start uh, FMA, I, after after I joining the competition, I have some opponent that they they're moving like like this way. Some some are in the province like this. Okay. Mm. What what I what I did? I'm going around him. I'm going to do in circle, moving around him, and mm -hmm. and the guy. Cannot follow me. Cannot follow. Mm. After after I move around him, I I hit him to the back. So all all strikes are come in. Okay, okay, okay. Maestro, yeah, what mm. age did yes. you get into it? What age did you start, Yon? I mean, what age? What age? Uh, uh, any any age, as long as. Uh, uh, me, uh, I start Yon. Uh. 13. You started 13. Okay. So Still when are you fighting competitively? When do you start? Oh, yes, I, I start competing in Yao Yan at 15, 16. Wow, that's an early yeah, age. Yeah. Wow. So what, I mean, like, what did, so what did you enjoy about it that made you want to compete in it? Yeah, yes, yes. I, I enjoy Yao Yan and uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, when when I compete, it's a uh, you know uh, compete to the competition or uh, Yao Yan is it's, uh, it's d different. And mostly, most my, mostly my competition using Yao Yan are are only first round knockout. No, 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 I enjoy more Yao Yan. Direct to me. Yeah, I enjoy I enjoy Yao Yan also when when uh, my brother before my brother come into Yao Yan and okay. uh, we we enjoy each other. That's why. We, ah, so you also have a brother who practices uh who practices Yao Yan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my it's my old my older brother. Your older. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he's uh. Fred Garcia, he okay. he has a gym before in uh, Toronto, Canada. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, it's up. There. Okay, in Canada. So what? I mean, when you started competing, like um, you know, like obviously, it sounds like you were having success. I mean, so like, can you can you tell us a little about like um. Your, you know, what you, your, how did you train? What was your regiment? You know, preparation. When you were competing and all that, because it sounds like you had a very successful career. In it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, you know, I, uh, I, that's why uh, I spend a lot of time in the gym. Um, mm -hmm. I bet. Mm. And that's why when when we compete, we practice a lot and we we develop some kicks. There, there is a time that uh, I always uh, stay in the gym during my during my years. 
Okay. So did you have to go to the gym after like your classes? Yes. Up, you know, up, after after uh, high school. Yeah. I start uh, moving to the gym and oh. teaching Yao Yang. Oh wow! I I I stop. Uh, I stop my my studying. I I I I've oh, I not see. been. I've not been in college. Yao okay. Yan become my uh, career. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. At an early age, even. Yes, at the, at the, at the age of uh, uh, sixteen, when I graduate, when I graduate high school, I wow. I moved. After after ten years, I. I make my own uh, gym in uh, in our province in in Pampanga, but but I'm still competing then in Yaoyan and in a Muay Thai and kickboxing tournament. Wow! Can you um can you explain? Um, Julius has a question here. Like, can you tell us about the scorpion kick? Oh yeah, yeah. yes. The then scorp the use the scorpion kick. <laughs> yes, yes. You know. You know, um, white type fighters cannot uh, intercept or cannot counter the, the the scorpion kick because you you're you're punching you're you're punching uh, here, looking 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 towards to your to your opponent, and and suddenly the my 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 left foot. My left foot will space. You don't. Yeah. I'm gonna you, lower shelves. You know what? Yeah. You you can. Yeah. Uh, yes. Can you show us again? Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Again. 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 Yes. Again. 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 Yeah. Sure. You're gonna hide us. Uh, suppose, supposing we we're, we're fighting each other. You know. Uh. And, and it's going to to pass. And while I'm doing counter punch here, we can kick here, but I'm not turning my head. From there, I can kick his face. That's 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 why why I cannot uh, counter that uh, scorpion yeah. kick. Wow, that looks. That's, that's the amazing. famous scorpion kick. That's the first time I've ever seen it. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When, when I was practicing yeah. Aikido back no. then, and then normally when I see like posters of Yao Yan fighters, they're always in that uh, famous scorpion yeah, king. Yeah, I gotta admit, first time I've seen that, that looks, that looks mm. incredible. Wow, can you ask about yeah. my heavy punch mm. wrapped in a rattan? Yes, as soon as if he comes back, he's still there, he's just got the infamous blue screen. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'll tell you, once we just get on the roll, huh? Hi, Jess. Hey, Jesse. All right, I will definitely ask him about the giant heavy punching bag wrapped in. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I've seen that, Dean. Have I've you seen oh, that? No kidding. Yeah, because there is there. Okay, we lo we lost we lost the signal. <laughs> we lost the signal. I'm, I'm using I'm, I'm using it. Uh, so we we will do it again. We'll do it again. Sure. Yeah. This is supposed to be our opponent. This is supposed to be a Muay Thai fighter. When when I'm doing uh, punching and he's doing punching, I, I counter I counter the punch. I'm still looking at him. Suddenly the the kick is coming to his face. Cool. That, man, that's amazing. Wow. That's that's amazing. Really sneaky, Almost huh? an unex unexpected for the opponent. Wow. Uh, yeah, yes, yes. Maestro, we got a question here. Yeah. Yeah. Ramon wants to know, can you ask about the giant heavy punching bag wrapped in rattan? Yeah, yes, yes. We have punching bag wrapped in, uh, not, not in rattan, wrapped in uh, abaca. Abaka, abaka you, rope. Yeah, abaka, mm -hmm. abaka rope, and it's around the 
250, 250 kilos. Yeah. So I, I, when I was a fighter, I, I, I do bagging for, for two years, uh, two hours in one day. Mm. In one mm. day for, for that, for that, uh, uh, punching bag. That's why my, my shin, your shin will be coming, uh, more more stronger Condi yeah it's gonna be conditioned yeah yeah, yeah yes and and condition mm -hmm. so i uh if, if you spend a lot of time to the gym and when when you compete you 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 will be win you will be win mm -hmm. yeah uh, because uh and 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 it, what what you're going to do is all your uh, uh, movement is is really really effective. Mm. Really effective. Yes. Yeah. My boy, you um, you you trained in Kiapo in the Kiapo gym. Yeah, yeah, yes, in Kiapo. Yeah, in Kiapo. So that, that Dean, was, yeah. When you enter the 19. yeah, when you enter the dojo or the gym of the Kiapo Yao Yan, you're going to immediately see that heavy bag. It's very imposing. Oh, oh, so oh, so the first thing you notice. Yeah. Is, okay, okay. Yeah. So if you look at it, it's like a, a giant um a beehive. Oh no, okay. because the way it was wrapped with the with the abaca. And what is yep. the material? I'm sorry. It's it's like a it's like a a type of a uh, fern that they use oh, for okay. sailors okay. sailors use before before nylon was used. So okay. that's an abaca rope. Okay. Okay. So yeah. He's yeah, it's 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 uh it's sturdy. It is hard. <laughs> oh, no. I've been I've been I've been to their to their gym once, that's and hard. I tried I'm kicking not. it. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> guy, he, I saw him, but we got back in. Sorry, folks, for the technical issues. Um, doing what we can. Oh, we got uh, oh my, David Fogey. Hey, Dave. Hope things are going well. Hi, David. Uh, uh, Michael, you gotta come back. We hear you, but you're not yeah. here. Yeah, it's a hemp. Yeah, type of a hemp rope. No, but where is it? Yeah. We gotta get I you back. It comes back. You gotta come back in. We're hearing you, but you're not. Um, we can't see you. Correct. Yeah. Be, just, um, <clears throat> just try coming back in. That probably be the best thing to do. Uh, the body condition of the athlete similar as the Muay Thai fighters. Went. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, we'll find out, Richard, for sure, for sure. Trained the famous young fighter, Master Zapata, Master Ray. Okay. And here we are. Yeah. I have met uh, Master Zapata. Oh, here we are. Oh, there ah, you go. No, no, it's. All right. So, Maestro, okay. I got another question. Yes. Maestro. Yes. Uh, uh, actually, a few. Uh, um, yeah. The famous Bolo Punch Knockout. <laughs> <laughs> what what the bolo punch Ma master boy yeah yeah yes the 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 bolo the, the, the mostly all uh some of my opponents knock out with a bolo punch or in a uh turning turning back back, back to okay. the bolo we yeah. call we call that roscas you you Punch and punch and punch. We call that we don't we call that oh, rust mass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all right. Dig, 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 dig. Okay. We got a question and we got another uh, question. Um Richard Packman wants to know are the body are the body conditioning of Yang Yang athletes similar as the Muay Thai fighters when it comes to developing tough shins and elbows? Or do you guys have your own methods? 
No, 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 it's, no, it's, uh, uh, a, a little bit similar, but, but, but it's, uh, dip, different, different. Maybe, maybe okay. the elbow has, has the same method, but okay. some kicks, some kicks are not the same. Okay. Mm. Now, how about the conditioning, Ma Master Boy? The conditioning okay. of the shin when you try to toughen your shins and your elbow? Yeah, yeah. Yes, the conditioning aside from uh, using the the big bag, the the heavy bag, we have uh, small rotten sticks, and and what we're going to do is every day just uh, using for for the shin. Yeah. Um, By that's why our shin will become will become conditioned. Yeah. Yes, and and the difference is uh, Muay Thai. When when you kick Muay Thai, they they always they always block the kick. They check it. What? Okay. Yes. What we did in Yawian, we don't we don't block. Instead of blocking the the kick, we just we just jump the kick. Or if you kick to the left, we jump to the left or jump to the right. Yeah. Instead of of doing blacking. Mm. And we yeah, they go at an angle, 45 degree angle, yeah. isn't it, one boy? Yes. You know, the shelf yeah. life of a young on fighter would seem better than the Muay Thai because they don't have that, it seems like they don't have those clashes. Is that, mm. is that fair? Tom, maybe you can ask them. Oh, uh, the, um, Dean is asking basically if like, uh, the, the, the way you fight in Yao Yan, uh, is uh, how similar is it to to Muay Thai? Do you have any clashing, or do you basically redirect the energy, or do you redirect your uh, when you when you uh, block the kick? Yes, yes. In the I like um, if if the young young fighter, I, uh. Muay Thai fighter, give me a, a tip. A, a tip. Well, what we're going to do is, from here, a tip. Going, going to do the the rascas. And from here, going to do a tip. From here, instead of we we use this to the top. Okay, we use. To do a tip from here, we use one, two. Have, have you have you seen it? That was fantastic. Yeah. No, fantastic. Yeah, thumbs, yeah. So great demo, so great demo. So you guys as young on fighters definitely seem definitely more mobile. Far as movement than the Muay Thai fires, which are just kind of just coming like kind of straight at you. Yeah. Is that? Yeah. Yes. 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 Our 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 mobility is more uh, yeah. more efficient. It's more uh, <clears throat> faster yeah. footwork, and the 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 ball open sometimes it's hard for them for them to to counter. No, I bet, I bet. And it seems yeah. you, you use a lot of rotation as well yeah. to load your to load the power of your punches and your kicks. Yes, e even, even, even our roundhouse kick, it's uh, different from Muay Thai. Our roundhouse kick is a uh, 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 torquing, ro rotating mm. your hips, and and the knee is, is higher, right. and the kick is not not like Tom's, it's not like some pad, it's like that. It's going yeah. forward and and the shin will going to swing, swing the kick. Mm, and right. what we did before when 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 I compete in uh in Muay Thai, I have I have a wrong a wrong roundhouse. When when I do a roundhouse, the roundhouse is I I always Hitting the the elbow when I kick. When okay. I kick. Yeah. Okay. That's why. That's why. And there are our roundhouse is not just like like this and, and that. 
Mm. Our run now is it's going forward and you you your luck your luck to your opponent luck you see the 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 knee is it's jamming the knee is inside inside yeah. to your the, yeah. the knee is inside to your opponent yep so it's kind of jamming your opponent to be able yeah. to move closer to you forward and going and going to swing yeah that's wow, why it's that. more stronger yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And actually resting it on them. Oh, okay. It's not getting mm. upward like this. It's going to, to do like this. Yeah, Up, it's like, man, you, you it's just, like panchada. Yeah, you just, you, we, we're just passing to the... So this is the elbow. I got to hide us. <laughs> so you can see. The elbow. Instead, of, instead of using that way, we're going to this way. <clears throat> Up above. Above the elbow. So the, have you have you seen it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yes, I got it. So, I have a question. Yes, Maestro. Um, this is from Julius. He would like to know the hardest, the hardest hitter, best chin, and your toughest opponent. <laughs> <laughs> in your career <laughs> ah, yes yes in my yeah. career our our uh, Muay Thai fighters are the are the hardest also uh, one of the hardest is uh, from from US uh, is uh, Dan is Parker I think he's a world middleweight champion uh, I fight with him uh, during 90s i think mm -hmm. yeah it's really it's a it's a kickboxer it's really good in kickboxing uh, okay so you have to talk and, and also, and also um, muay thai fighters his name is uh uh pichayam picharon is 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 really good it's really good it's the hardest wow yeah so a uh, maestro what I mean, like I, you got the so at one point you got the championship. Am I correct? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. And um, and uh, how uh, and like how long did you like how long did your career last for? How many years did you fight professionally? Uh, yes. Yes, I fight. Uh, my career is, I think, more than twenty years. Wow. In my career. Wow. You know, it's it's. A, it's different in the Philippines. Before, when I start uh, competing, after after you compete, you just receive only a medal or trophies. Mm. Yeah. 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 No financial. After, yeah. After one, two, twenty tournaments, I I compete. Uh, I receive trophies and medals. That's why I have a lots of. Uh, trophies in my house mm. after uh, after a few a few fights and some uh, promoter asking me to fight i was telling them uh i need a cash yeah <laughs> I, yeah because yeah 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 yes uh, because uh i i spend a lot a lot of money when when i train i buy vitamins yeah, of course, yes equipment mm. Yeah, yes, yes. That's when we start competing uh, outside the Philippines, competing in uh, Hong Kong, Thailand, some some other countries. There, there is there is a little cast. Not not well, not like in MMA or in boxing, a big cast for the for the champion. Oh, good, good. Did mm. you, Julius? Did you have any questions? I have. Yes. Did did you did you ask how um to give the body mechanics on how to throw the scorpion yung kamandak? Yeah, yeah, he showed that. Oh, that you already asked, you already asked that one. Um, that was sick. Yeah, he he, um, he demoed it too. Yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah. My, 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 yes, my yes. follow. <laughs> my follow what? to that Again? is to ask is just to ask uh, what he does now for longevity because you oh, know, I have that. Really, yeah, I have that really the end. 
But okay. Um, but yeah. So if you want, um, yeah. Go um, before we go to um, because we have a question. Um, Tom, I'm sorry, Guru Tom, you, did you have anything else? Um, nope, not so, at the moment. Yep. Okay. okay. So, so Maestro, when did you start? Because when did you? I got a couple questions regarding your training with Master Ricketts. Um, one is from Vico is, you know, how did you meet Master uh, Ricketts and your experience training with him? And uh, Bakan Bakan. Bakan. Brotherhood. Bakan Brotherhood. Yes, yes. I, I, I met Master uh, Tuper personally when I, when I had a fight with this, uh, with this uh, boxer. His name is uh, uh, Boy Boy Min, Boy Minjola. He's he's a Olympic boxer, and. Mm -hmm. And this manager is, I think, and is under Master Tuper. Master Tuper was there when when we fight with with this uh, boxer, and uh, and also he's also Bakbakan. After after the fight, and he approached me to come over to his uh, to his place, mm -hmm. and then uh, after that we're, we're friends, uh, and he he teach me. Illustrissimo and also also some uh, bakbakan moves. Some bakbakan bakbakan is is a brotherhood. Yeah. There are in bakbakan there are some guys have different styles. There is a uh, kung fu there. There is a uh, yeah. Uh, there, there, there's quite a mixture. Yeah, yeah, yes. Mm. It's, it's a it's a mixture. It's a it's a mix of a uh, mixture of martial arts. Uh, mm -hmm. They 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 incorporate the the good the good things the the effective one and then they they will apply it. So before MMA, Bakbakan is already an MMA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. the yes. uh, Buno yeah. Jiu Jitsu. Yeah, yeah. But, mm -hmm. Yes, yes. The fight is uh, uh, hardcore. No, no rules. Mm -hmm. That's why Master Tucker he he likes always when when I come over because I fight all all his instructors because uh, I am an experienced fighter. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sure. Like yeah. you must have, no, I'm sure you were such, like you were an asset to have around. Yeah, you know. Like it yeah. was good for him to have you around there for the other guys, you know. Yeah, um, I think Bakbakan yes. can also even uh, uh, compete in the like the Sancho, the Chinese uh, boxing. They did as well. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, they they also competing on uh, in a uh, in a uh, yes in a uh, Chinese boxing. Mm. Uh, Sancho. Wushu. Wushu. Yeah. Yes, uh, Miguel. Miguel. Senator Juan Miguel Subir is one one of the Bakbakan fighters competing mm. uh, Wushu in Malaysia, I think. Wow. So two oh my um Vico, two on one versus Master Boy. <laughs> 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 no, I when, when I was in Bakbakan, I, I always spar with Vico also. He is he's, he's really good. No he's yeah. a no, my man, yeah, yeah. my man, Guru Vigo. Yeah, long, tall. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's taller than me. He's taller. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, okay, because you look you look pretty tall. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm only I'm only five five eleven. Okay, 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 okay. That's oh, we're all on like the same right. height. Okay, me, you, and Vigo. Okay. Yeah. That's why okay. in the Philippines, when I compete, most mostly my opponents are. I can imagine, right. yeah. You've had some inches on <laughs> I have the longer reach, you know. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I got the, I, guys. I have a question from uh, Carbon. <laughs> Carbon. Did you guys? <laughs> did Julius and um, did you guys have questions for regarding uh, what we're talking about now? For um, well, I, 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 I kind of do. Um, sure. But maybe we should ask that maybe a little bit later because uh, I was just gonna ask him like out of all the Filipino boxers that he's seen, because obviously 
um, uh, Guru, uh, Guru Ismail, Ma- Ma- Maestro Ismail, he, he knows uh, the art of hand and foot fighting. But when it comes to uh, the Philippines, we have a very long tradition of like legendary boxers, like from the from the time of Pancho Villa to the time of Separino Garcia, with uh, uh, Ben Billia Flor, um, and then Navarrete, and then Luis Ciro Espinosa and Pacquiao. Skill set wise, I'm not yeah. talking about accompli- accomplishment. Who do you who do you think is the best out of all of them? I'm talking about skill set wise. I, I don't mean obviously. There's also the Peñalosa brothers as well. They're they're also really good. Skill set wise, who do you think had the highest boxing IQ and capabilities? Pancho Villa. I, I think Pancho Villa. Uh, mm. The Espinosa is is really good. Pancho Villa, yeah. yeah, yeah. really but but Pacquiao, you you know some some uh, boxers from other countries like like in uh, Mexico always fight with uh, Mexican fighters with Pacquiao because they, they, they also hard hitting. Pacquiao is hard hitting also. Mm-hmm. But you know, Pacquiao is uh, had a different different style. He's a, we call it, it's a broken rhythm. That's why mm-hmm. some, so, some of our, uh, some of the Mexican fighters are, are uh, they don't know how how to count how, how, to, how to counter. Yeah, yeah. How to counter the punch because mm-hmm. Pacquiao is a broken rhythm. In boxing, mm-hmm. has an end like after jab, doing this after this left hook. Pacquiao is not as as no number. That's why it's very effective in uh, in in boxing. Yeah. Yeah, that, definitely. That, that, that was pretty words, much what I expected. Man. I'm so happy because that that was what I expected you to say when it comes to the 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 golden era boxers. I expected you to say Pancho Villa, yeah, but I man. I saw Luis Ciro Espinosa here in person because he, he he lives here in San Diego. He actually trains Dominic Cruz oh. for his stand up and his footwork. Yeah. And yeah. out of all the people that I have seen up close, I think out of all the Filipino boxers, he has the highest skill set in the modern era. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yes, it's really good, but he he got some uh, head injuries after one of one of his fight, I think. That's why he, he stopped boxing. But he's a really good fighter. Yeah, Man. yeah. So, so Maestro, I have a question here from from Vaughn, and what he want to ask is, now since you since you experienced both. Yao Yong and the training under Master Ricketts and the Brotherhood and all that. What are the difference and takeaways from both? Is this question? Ah uh, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, it's it's a it's a big difference because in uh, Yao Yang, uh, Master Ricketts has a different style of, of fighting. Uh, you know. Uh, Master Tuper is coming from, uh, I think he has from karate also. Uh, mm, yeah, some, yeah, yeah. Some, some of the drills in Bakbakan are are mixing a little bit deep in a karate movement. And where, when when they when the Bakbakan fighters they always do what they practice, the drills, like the drills, there is uh, outside dodging, inside dodging. The difference between Yao Yan, Yao Yan is more, more, uh, more, more relaxed, more mm-hmm. relaxed okay. and yeah, mo- mo- moving around and using, using uh, d- different kicks and, uh, yeah. and punches. But 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 both are, are really good. Bakbakan is a good also. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow. So and okay. And that was his question. I thank you, Guru Tom. Did you have anything else regarding? Um. No. 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 I I think he Master Boy has managed to cover it earlier on. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. yeah. That's good. Um. So my stroke. Okay. Oh, go ahead. I'm yes. sorry. Okay, I I I I I have I have to add something. Sure. Uh, 
sure. when, yeah. when, it comes, when it comes to 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 real time or on in on the, uh, because Yao Yan is uh, standing usually natural, normally standing like like this, and you have opponent and he's trying he's trying to 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 punch you. From from here we can do a quick quick reaction, uh, reply easily in in one movement. Not like not like when when he punches. If I'm going to do two or three movements, uh, he has still another one to to cover the first punch. That's why in Yawian, when when he punches, we we counter recta recta from from here from here we can use this we I, we try to to use to hit the the neck is it this the, the neck after after three there we can use some elbow if he's trying to punch here from here i can use directly here uh, to the chin up to the nose until until the neck breaks. So what what I'm going to show you if he's punching me, I'm going to more more stronger. The chin up to the nose up to the eyes. In one move, in one move, there's no, no other, no other movement, no other movement. From here, he's going to do a cross. From here, I can use the the ball, the uh, hambalos. We call it hambalos. Okay, okay, that's you. You seen it? Oh, it's perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no, that's great. Thank you. I do have a question. Yeah, uh, Ramon, Vico, I definitely saw the question. I'm just going to wait till we get to KI. Okay. Um, so, so Maestro, when did you, I mean, after, is, um, you know, you're, you know, definitely the yong yong on that, but when did you um, gravitate towards the weapon systems? And what was your first system that you tried? Persistent opening. I yeah, I, I, I have only uh, two system like like in just 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 in K K I uh, illustrismo. Before I practice to master master Tupper, when master Tupper passed away, I I practice to master master Tony Jago. Okay, so what can you tell us about your training with him? Yes, illustrismo is. Uh, is near has Yao Yang and Yustrisimo has the same the same principles. Uh, the positioning, like if I have this position in Yao Yang and uh, I put weapon in my left hand, yeah. we have the same position. We have the same position, the same footwork. Okay. okay. Yes. So can you tell us about your training with uh, Master Diego? What was that like? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we trained with uh, Master Jake Tony. We call it Mang Tony. In, uh, mm. in, sometimes, in we go, sometimes we go to Binondo. When we go to Binondo, we, we go with, with Master Tutor also. So... Uh, so uh, Master Tony is is really is really good. He has good principles for uh, uh, KI. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now uh, and now now and how long did you uh, did you train? How long did you stay training with him? Uh, I I trained for I I did not count how how long, but. Uh, I I much uh, ab about 
10 years. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. What was it like training with him? Yeah, I mean, yeah, what were your good experiences or memories yeah, yeah. training with Mang Tony? Yeah, Mang Tony is, uh, is, a, is a funny guy, you know. He, he never right. asks you an amount after training. Sometimes he treats you to, to the restaurant. He's, I know. Yeah, he's a, he's a good, he's a good uh, teacher. Mang Tony is a good teacher. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, and this, that's where we're all here, absolutely. Um, Julius uh, has uh, has a question too, um, and his question is, what could you tell us about how to develop accuracy training? And I'm going to, um, I guess, with the weapons, and his questions regarding, I'm going to assume weapons training, but how do you develop accuracy training? Yes. Yeah, so I after our training, some some drills. We we I I train I train I train a lot, but I train on more uh, actual more more sparring uh, because sometimes when you when you see like you're you're doing this way, doing that way, and then. When you spar, it's not really objective. We, we will change the system of our training. Now, mm -hmm. now, if you want to become good in a, even in Lestrissimo, you have to train, you have to spar. The thing is sparring, sparring, drills, repetition is, is the key for, for to become good. So, okay. and then um, did you, okay, we had that. Um, let me see here. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Um, so speaking of that, that's my next question, actually. Why is sparring, like, in other words, when you look at FMA, you know, a lot of systems don't spar or they don't stress it enough and all that for various reasons, which I'm, I'm not going to go into. But more importantly, I want to, you know, what is, what is your view on sparring as far as the weapon systems and why is it so important to you? Sparring. Yeah. Yeah. Sparring can weapons. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yes. Yeah, sparring for for weapons uh, very, very important. Mm. And because Yes. I'm just thinking about uh, but what we did uh, in our system, uh, in Illustrissimo, we always, after, after practicing weapon, we practice with my partner and uh, weapon without weapon. No. And it becoming effective if you, if you if you always doing it. Yeah. Mang Boy, um, what advice can you give to our viewers when it comes to sparring, either empty hand or with weapons? What advice can uh, you give yes. us? Uh, yes. Uh, they, they, have, they have to spar. They have to spar or they have to practice correctly. So when they practice or when they spar, when they train, they have they have to evaluate first if it's if it's this technique is effective or not, okay. and try it in real more and more repetition. Mm. Okay. Can can I can I ask okay. him in Tagalog and I'll just translate in English? Sure, sure, sure. Um, um, um Guru Ismail. Tanong ko lang po, kasi po tinatanong ni Dean, itanansay ko po yung sagot nyo. Um, bakit po mahalaga ang oh. um, sparring sa, ano, sa, sa, um, sa sistema nyo at saka sa FMA in general? At karamihan nga po ng FMA, hindi nag i Oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh. Kasi, uh, tagalo, Tagalogin ko na lang. Sige po, sige uh, po. Ang, ang sparring kasi, so, ma madidevelop mo ang, ang timing timing mo yung 
uh, accuracy. Mm-hmm. At uh, hindi, hindi na ituturo sa isang FMA or sa isang fighter yung dibdib eh. In- okay, so uh, he cut off at a, at a, a good junction, I guess, but maybe not so, so dope. He should, he'll, he should be back. Um, yeah, no, he should be back. But essentially yeah, what he said, screen. I, I asked your question to him in Tagalog to get like, proper response because I thought he was having a difficult time trying to say it in English. But he was saying that um, by sparring, it gives you uh, attributes such as timing and accuracy. Accuracy. The other thing that it doesn't teach when you just do drills is it doesn't give you heart because you're not used to an adrenaline type of environment. Yeah. So dip dip, dip translates to chess, but it it really it really means heart. So that's what he was saying is like if you always test yourself in a stress inoculation type of scenario, like you will develop some heart at least because you're used to yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. trying to n- knock that head off. Yeah. Hopefully you develop the fight. <laughs> uh, all right, let's just yeah. wait till he comes back. I'm sure because to her, um, when he was using the phone, it seemed to be working pretty well. So hopefully. Did, uh, did it cut off early? I'm so sorry. I couldn't watch it at work, Dean. No, so no, 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 no. What sure. happened was when we started, um, he, uh, we had some, um, we couldn't hear him. So we had to kind of yeah. start over again. But Yeah. Because he, he, <laughs> he had to come down. To, yeah. He had to come nope. down and then he had some problem with the. Yeah. Mic. So I got to, I definitely got to edit the beginning, but no big deal. Yeah. I just kind of started it over when he got downstairs and all that. So, but hopefully, but they, they didn't when he changed to his phone, things seemed to be um, they were working better. So, mm. um, hopefully, uh, he shouldn't have an issue because he was definitely um, it was work. I mean, it was working fine. Unless maybe because everybody else is getting on the internet. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, that could, could be that one be? of the issues. Remember, be? you had that with the. Uh... With Bot Oh my god. You gotta <laughs> yeah, start I do remember that. Park, man. I'm gonna lose you. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Trying to get basically the perfect time with the interview. Uh, Doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah, he's got he's got internet connection issues. When he's coming in and out like that, that's a that's pretty much a pure yeah. sign of it. That's uh, uh that's one of the issues that basically most of the uh, people in the Philippines uh, have. Uh, I know. I so when I asked them to go for a live interview, they they're kind of like hesitant about it. Uh, I understand because of the internet problem. No, I definitely. Yep. Understand. You gotta understand Dean, what was so awesome about it is like we are basically getting a live interview with like the equivalent of the oh, Gracie in the Philippines. He's back. He's back. I mean, they they, they, they did uh, dojo breaking back in the day, man. Are you back? <laughs> okay, I'll I'll, I'll give the Gracie challenge, man. Yeah. So, so Maestro, um, so Julius, if you want to ask him again, if he, if he had, if he had to finish the question or whatever, if you yeah, want yeah, to. Yes. I, I will yeah, ask, continue, uh, continue I will po, answer continue. you. Continue po. Okay, Julius. Um, ang isang fighter o ang isang magaling na arnisador, uh, bakit kailangan ng umispark? So, sa isparing naman, madidevelop mo yung uh, accuracy timing at saka pag pag may daga ka hindi ka makaka makakapalo ng maayos eh so mm-hmm. kailangan din yung yung tapang i-develop mo mm-hmm. uh, kailangan mawala yung daga sa dibdib mo mm-hmm. okay so, so, yeah so let, let me translate that in english uh, dean is a yes, cultural so. nuance when we talk about daga it means mouse inside your chest mouse. So it, yeah. it's it's kind of like when people are throwing free throw in the NBA finals and they have kaba, they have hesitation, yeah. they have anxiety, hesitation, fears. anxiety because they're afraid, yeah. right? So when you oh. spar like you you get rid of that mouse inside your chest, mm. and you get you, used you, to it. You you develop heart basically because you're oh, you're getting pummeled okay. all the time. Mm. Better analogy. Okay. Okay. I like that. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> So, do you guys have any questions regarding weapons training or else on sparring? Because I thought we'd get to his weapons. But if you guys have other questions, um, go ahead, Julius. I, yeah, I'm going to ask for that because I, I always try to um, ask it for more advanced practitioners and kind of like the mano sport. What do you do now 
um, for longevity training? Do you have any kind of internal arts such as Tai Chi and yoga or stretching? Because I want to know because you you were basically a pro for 20 years. That's a very long career. I think your last yeah, yeah. fight was I think like 1999, I believe. Yeah, 1999 is my last fight in a uh, full contact kickboxing. Yeah, I was like a freshman yeah. in high school then. I, I That's start, a while back. I start, yes, I start fighting 1976, 77. Wow. And, and in Yaoyan, you know, uh, we need we need to be more flexible. You have to stretch. You have to Super go flexible. some split, and then when when you're a uh, uh, instructor, you're not uh, good enough. You're not uh, flexible enough. They, they will they will push you until you reach the you know the floor. Until you reach the floor. True. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What do you what do you like a supplement your diet? Like do you eat a lot of nada de coco? Or like a lot of the, Not the you, know, you know what I mean? A lot of I, collagen type yes, foods. In the we, always, we always eat uh, more uh, vegetables and uh, beef, fish, mm. and we don't eat the uh, we don't eat uh, not much on uh, junk food. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a good That's same over here, right? Good diet plan. Yeah, wash the car. Great. <laughs> Mm. Pero ngayon, ngay ngayon po, Mang Boy, what do you do for like your exercises? No, uh, no, yes, yes, uh, you know, uh, like stretching. Uh, some and every Sunday I I train with uh, Master Arnold. I train the illustration of boys before they train in weapon. They train uh, empty hunters, and then after empty hunters, they train with weapon. Oh, okay. The good thing is, the good thing is I, I, I would, I, when I teach, I, I, that's why I practice it. Nakakapag, nakakapag-isayo ako tong kapag nagtuturo ako eh. So, oh, nice. That's a good way to have a workout. Yes, pag nagtuturo ka. Yes, pag nagtuturo ka, obligado kang maging sayo. Yeah, yeah, that's so, true. That's so, true. So, so, so what he's saying, Dean, is the, the exercise is constant. He's training with Arnold all the time. And when you're teaching, you're obligated to train and train well. Mm. Yeah. yeah staying yeah. To stay relevant, current. Yeah. Mm. All right. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. Um, did, you, did you eat pork, sir, during your, your 20 plus year <laughs> career? <laughs> Uh, du during our training, we, we don't we don't eat pork <laughs> oh, well. because our masters before is a uh, uh, Seventh Day Adventist. They they don't uh, eat yeah. pork. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But now I I eat pork a little. <laughs> <laughs> I love porky. Okay. Um, Julius. You can, you, Julius, you want to ask him about your, um, how you, uh, have you ever trained upon the spiritual aspect of combat and FMA? Yes, sir. So I was going to ask about that. So that's like a two-pronged question is um, before you go to combat, because, you know, full contact type of fighting, you could lose your life in there, you get really hurt. What type of mental training do you do to prepare for that? What kind of spiritual preparation do you do? You know, what gets you in that kind of mindset of like kill or be killed, right? And then the other yeah. thing is, and then the other thing is, the second part of that question is, have you touched like the occult or esoteric side of Filipino martial arts? And can you share any of your experiences if you have? Yes, yes. Uh, I I usually uh, when when I when I go go for uh, training and when I train also. I have, I have, uh, my mindset is, uh, Tagalogin ko. Kasi pag lumalabas ako, siyempre, hindi mo alam yung mga kalaban mo sa street, di ba? Lagi, 
laging aware aware lang ako tapos uh, pag alam kong hindi merong ako nakitang hindi maganda na may plano sa akin yung mga nakakasalubong ko iniiwasan ko tapos yung mindset ko sa laban uh, lalo na ngayon may edad na ako Unang-una kong mindset, ang unang-una kong patatamain, yung mata, liig, bayan. Hindi ko na kailangan ng maraming suntukan kasi hindi mo, pwede makipagsuntukan ng one minute, two minutes, mapapagod ka na eh. So, yung... So, mer- meron kaming... Before, meron kaming spiritual training sa iyo yan bago, bago mag-practice ng... ng uh, Uh, yaw yan. So nag-aaral kami, nagbabible study kami. Kaya uh, ang, uh, meron kami ang tinatawag na yaw yanism. So it is uh, spiritual training and yaw yan is uh, physical training. So what, so what Master Ismail was saying was um, now he's older. Particularly because you, he, you're not thinking about a sport context anymore. He tries to avoid people that he can sense that have bad intention to him mm. tries to constantly avoid situations like that complete situational awareness if he yeah. does get into combat he goes for crucial targets right away the fatal teeth yeah. the eyes the mouth throat the throat and the genitals right because yeah. his reasoning is you won't have energy to last particularly when you're older age to fight and punch them out for you know one to two yeah. months yeah. you gotta go for the kill right away Right? Yeah, okay. right. Yeah, be quick. right away. And then he was saying when he was a pro, Yao Yan had a particular aspect that was specific to Yao Yan of spiritual training. So they had the physical training in Yao Yan, but they also have Bible study to prepare mm. for basically going to combat, like, you know, like uh, like yeah. in the Bible when you're fed to the oh, lions okay. or David fighting oh, the lion. Mm. <laughs> so, oh, all right. No, that's, um, and I'm just trying to think uh, before we got if you, If I, may, I just want to make sure I got all your questions, Julius. Did you, I don't know if you asked him this, Julius, how has his training changed over the years? Yeah, I, so, paano po nag, so paano po nagbago ang training nyo over the years? Kasi nagsimula po kayo, malambot pa yung katawan from the 76, yeah. right? And then your last fight was 99. And then yes. how has your training changed now? Because now it's becoming more uh, blade-centric or weapon-centric because of your KI. So, Panopo, yes. can you give me like a decade by decade breakdown? Like, can you give me a sample of your training regime when you were like in your prime? <laughs> Was it like brutal, like Pacquiao, like run six, 10 miles in the morning, you know? Like, you know, so please, please give us a breakdown of your training regime for each successive decade. Yes. So, when I, when I start training, uh, when, I, when I'm in, a, I think, 20s, 25, I start training one hour jogging. And then after jogging, uh, we will do shadow, shadow, shadow kickboxing or shadow mm-hmm. yaoyan boxing in, in the park for for about uh, 30 minutes. And then okay. we do some we do some uh, dumbbells like two pounds for for three four rounds. And after that, we do more more drills and and more sparring. After I spar in the morning, I spar in the afternoon, I spar in the evening. Wow. That's why when I That's a when lot. I, when I enter the ring, when I enter the ring, sometimes one kick opponent down already. And then when when I'm getting old like now during when I was 50 uh, a little bit a little bit more We practice more on uh, upper body. Uh, in when, when you're getting old, it's hard. It's getting hard to to kick more higher kicks. That's mm-hmm. why uh, we are practicing more more on more on upper, more on punching, punching, dri- yes, punch, yes. Uh, elbow, knee. Your kick becoming more more lower. Not mm-hmm. unlike before, you you kick the pace, you can do flying kicks, but now no more, just just a low kick. Yeah, mm. that, that's that's this guy here. 
<laughs> and me. <laughs> this guy's doing no more Taekwondo kicks. I can tell you that much, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I got I got a permanently dented tooth. That, <laughs> you know. Man, <laughs> my height is the hip, hip and below. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, did you guys have any other questions before we get into his weapons? No, we're, we're okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. So, Maestro, yeah. Maestro, what um, what gave you the inspiration? And if, if Julius wants to translate this, what gave you the inspiration to want to make weapons in FMA gear? I know, I know. Ah, yes. You know, be before before when I when I do Yao Yan uh, or uh, when I do fighting in the ring, my my livelihood is uh, making a weapon. I, I okay. during during the during eighties, I supply the wool kiapo. For, for for the weapons like sticks, headgear. Oh, and yeah. because before that, I'm just I'm just a maker, I'm just a supplier. I, I because that before I don't have time to practice more on weapons because I'm con on concentrating my my career in a uh, Yaoyan. Mm -hmm. That's why after after my uh, repetitive in uh, kickboxing, I start competing in uh, Arnis or in Kali. That's okay. why. I, okay. Oh, um, so, Dean, Dean, I was right? going to say um, Pahabol, which is like, I just got a message right now, and this person wants to stay anonymous. Um, they do have a question before you want to do your, your demo, right? They said, um, uh, can I ask you in Tagalog? I also translate in English, right? Yes. Um, please ask uh, the stories of the people who visit the gym and also the people with the challenges. So in Tagalog, it would be, Tanong mo yung kwento ng bisita sa gym, saka yung mga challenges. Yeah. Uh, yung mga bumibisita sa gym. Da po, dahil dahil yung question na yun masaya because that's going to be a fun question. You know, and that would be your finisher. Ah, yes, yes. So, yung, yung bu mga bumibisita sa gym namin, sa Yaw yan, uh, namamangan sila pag, pag nakakapunta sa gym, nakikita nila yung mga, mga equipment namin, yung galaw ng Yaw yan, uh, nagiging uh, interesado sila dahil pinapakita namin ang, ang tunay na na la, laban walang walang mga uh, fancy walang flower movement uh, na, natural 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 na nalabanan kaya nagustuhan nila yung yaw yan so so that first part of the question he said that the people who visit the gym um what what he would show them is a no holds barred natural fighting nothing flowery and mm -hmm. also they the the people that visit the gym they would kind of be amazed at the the equipment they they had because they have like a i'm guessing you guys have a heavy bag that's like 300 pounds made out of like rattan and you've got put steel in there or something to calcify yeah. your bones yes uh abaka. It's abaka. Uh, abaka wood. Bag. oh yeah 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 so so and then the next question that that person asked is um talk about the challenges of those some of those visitors yeah <laughs> Uh, yung, uh, yung, yung mga nag, yung mga, actually, merong mga naghahamon, pero misan, hindi namin pinapatulan eh. Misan naman, dahil nauubos yung pasensya mo, sinusuntok mo na, no, sinisan sinisipa mo na. Pero, <laughs> pero, 
na na na, na katagalan nag, nagbago na nagiging ano uh, mas mas ano kami mas pasensyoso uh, na pasensyoso <laughs> so um Dean so what he's saying is like some of those visitors sometimes are challengers right mm-hmm. and for the most part when they go challenge they just don't pay attention to them because a lot of them like it's just like why waste time on this nobody right oh, okay okay but okay. sometimes they do lose patience and um they basically punch them out of there Oh, they, okay. <laughs> over, over, over time, in the decade, they've become more um, civilized. Oh, so yeah. they're not ready just to go. Oh, so, yeah. I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Jesse had a, Jesse is that, is that a good, good translation, Tom? I'm sorry. I'm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's good, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Let's get the – Jesse's got a good question here. Um, uh, Maestro, Jesse has a question here. What would um, what would you advise for beginners to learn empty hands or weapons first? So uh, my my advice is uh, to train to train them harder and cor- correctly. No empty hand. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, keep, an empty hand, keep an empty hand and with with no empty hand. Uh, they they have to practice uh, correctly and uh, you know, mangboy. Oh, mangboy. Ano yeah, daw po ang ano? Um, mas ang may ipapayo nyo. Mag-aral muna ng empty hand bago weapons or ah, yes. weapons bago empty hand or sabay. Actually, pwede, uh, pwedeng, pwedeng sabay. Pwedeng mauna muna yung empty hand. Pero kung nag-aaral ka ng empty hand kasi, like, uh, kung, kung, nag, kung nag-throw ka ng kunwari yung straight, uh, nag-move yung shoulder mo, nag-move yung hips mo, yung straight mo, pag pumalo ka, pumitip ka, tumaga ka, pareho, pareho kasi ng movement eh. Kaya kung mag-aaral ka man ng intihan at mag-aaral ka ng with weapon, uh, walang problema. Pwedeng mag-aaral ka ng sabay. Pero, pero karamihan ng mga sadyante namin sa iyaw yan at iyaw, sadyante namin sa distressimo, yung iba, sabi ko, yung mga nag-aaral ng weapon, hindi masyadong interesado sa intihan. Sabi ko sa kanila, kailangan mag-aaral ka ng emptyhan. Kailangan matutunan mo itong yaw yan. Hindi mo alam, yung, yung kamay ng yaw yan, armies na eh, kaya lang wala ka ng hawak na sticks. Mm-hmm. So yung stick, extension, extension lang yun. Di ba? Extension lang yung sticks. Ngayon, pag lumabas ka ng bahay, Hindi naman lahat ng oras nagdadala ka ng weapon. Sometimes wala kang kutsilyo, wala kang uh, sticks. So kailangan mag- marunong ka, magaling ka rin talaga ng empty hand. Yeah. Okay. That's a good hmm. advice. So yeah, yes, Dean. Um, so, so what? Yeah, go ahead. In response to Jesse's uh, question, so for Mang Boy, it doesn't matter if you learn weapons or empty hand. Okay, it's although it's better if you learn both. So because one, if you basically uh, learn the weapon, you can translate it to the empty hand. And if you learn also empty hand, it's uh, more beneficial when you basically uh, go out and you don't have any kind of weapon with you, whether it is improvised weapon or something. So at least you can use your empty hand. You can use empty hand uh, skill sets, but. Yeah, so it to him it's it, it doesn't really matter which comes first, but if you can yeah. add, if you can basically have time to learn both, learn them both. No, yeah, it is the, the other thing that he wanted to stress is he noticed that people that uh, study weapons tend to not want to study empty hands, and he advises against that. Yeah, because he's yeah, saying yeah, that yeah, it, yeah, it's not it's good. not all the time that you carry a knife or or no, they get so engrossed in the weapons that they mm. you know. No. Right. All right. We got a question from Ramon. Uh, Maestro, is it true that Van Dam 
visited the Yon Yon Temple and Am I pronouncing it? Uh, no, no, I think I think it is just uh visiting our gym when when so he started. Okay, okay. 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 You, you know, if you don't know because uh Bandam he started training martial arts in the Philippines with my with my friends. Uh Jim Castaneda. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Did you guys know that? I didn't know that. Wow. No. No. That's all. Wow. Okay. No. <laughs> oh, uh, there's a follow up question from Jesse. Um, how about person of middle ages? Can no. they, middle age, can they learn or do? have a chance to learn empty hands or kicks? Yung yes, mga nasa yes. middle age na daw po, mga boy. Do they still have a chance to learn to learning uh, empty hand and kicks? Yes. Mar mar marami silang chances na hindi naman kailangan ang sipa mo puro sa mukha, eh, di ba? Hmm. Pwede, pwede kang sumipa sa sa bayad, pwede ka sumipa sa liig, ay sa, sa katawan. Tapos, ang, ang gamit mo sa sa taas ng kalaban mo, kamay. Hindi naman kailangan uh, bata ka pa para mag-start ng MTHD. So, kahit 60, 40, 50, pwede kang mag-aral ng MTHD ng yaw yan. Yeah. Okay. So, there you go, Jesse. Not okay. too late for you. <laughs> so yeah, Dean. No, no. In, in, yeah, in short, basically, Our even though in your middle age, age, you can still learn it. You don't have to kick high. Yeah. You can always target the genitals. <laughs> no, and the eyes and the throat. <laughs> yeah, and the eyes and the throat. All right. Yeah. No matter what age. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, um, all right. So, Maestro, can you showcase? Like some of your weapons, some of what you're making for the people who maybe have never seen them? Yeah. Sure yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, I show you, it's in my, you know. Sure. Uh, so these are, this, so these are the weapon. Uh, before I start selling weapon, uh, my, my early days in the 80s, these are these are the weapon. So these are the the kamagong sticks, mm -hmm. the brain, the thing. There is also with with carvings the Chris painting mm -hmm. dragon. Wow! Look at yes. that. Yes, huh? I have I have this the uh, I give this. You see. This That's is really nice. Uh, this uh made, made up Kamago. And see this. This is also oh, wow, look at that. sweet. Yeah, beauty. <laughs> Why can't we have you close here that I can go to a physical store to buy this? <laughs> it's so spoiled in the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> Small drum. Mm. Oh. Mm. <laughs> you see, the Kamagong sticks re really good. Uh, yeah. I, I have. I and some boy uses a high grade Kamagong sticks. Even look after those uh, headgear. Okay. Yes. But but this kind of headgear is is light, very light. Only I think three hundred grams. It's, it's very light. Really? Yeah. That, that because, looks like a tank. Yes, that looks like a tank for a headgear. It's only three hundred yes, grams. Then I fight in in a, a FMA. You're wearing headgear that is more than one kilo. It's it's hard for you to move. Yeah, that's, that's true. Start, that's true. I start to to make it more little lighter. 
little lighter, but heavy okay. duty. It's pure leather. Nice. I I make I make all uh, equipment for for the FMA. Wow. Uh, the arm guard, uh, arm guard, gloves, headgear, and everything in uh, FMA. Wow! How did you learn to make it? How did you learn to do it? Yes, because 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 when I was in Yaoyan, to making weapon it's, it's my livelihood. I don't have support. Uh, when I was in Yaoyan, I do before I do arnis supply kiapo. I do uh, nunchak. Yeah, nunchucks. I learned with my with my relatives and my oh, relatives. relatives. Okay, okay, okay. Can you show us your soft sticks, Maestro? Uh, yes, 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 yes. This is this is my this is my soft sticks. Uh, it's made of uh, rattan, rattan inside. Um, it's 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 very nice. You know the the color is uh, ballistic. Sometimes sometimes it, it sometimes it bends, but but it, it will not break. You can you can bring bring this back after. You know uh, when when uh, when I was uh, uh, no one one of the promoter in uh, our niche here in Quezon City. They they asked me about, about my soft sticks because when when he when he promote uh, FMA or harness he buy to the supplier that who are not uh, harness or they, they they don't know harness that's why sometimes they use more bigger sticks that's why after the competition. He spent a lot of money because fighters bring him to the hospital, lots of injuries. So I tell you that you try try my sticks for your competition. Because uh, I have uh, more rappers, more uh, bigger, and the, the stick is more, you know, the, the, okay. very good. Yeah, okay. It's really nice. and, uh, and again, you're willing to ship to the U.S. for folks that might be interested. And if if there are some yeah. interested in uh, buying uh, equipment, they can they can send by uh, Facebook or my messenger. They can order. They can. Yeah, in, yeah I think they can order. Yes. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you right now. You're gonna get about a dozen messages after this episode is over. Yeah, but hey, hope, hopefully, hopefully he does. You know what I mean? Like several dozen. Because I'll tell you what. I was hanging out with Von Bautista yesterday. Here, you know Von, right? Because he trained with you guys, right? Von, Von Bautista. Yeah. Von. Cabon. <laughs> it's catching up now, Dean. <laughs> Um, but, but, but he showed me those sticks in his video and he's had it since 2004, 2005. Oh, that's what I need. Them. still it look fast? like mint condition, man. Tired mm, and he spars with them a lot. So that just shows yeah. the quality of your, your, your thing. I'm not yeah. trying to plug you. I'm just saying like I was hanging out with Vaughn yesterday. So, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm just keeping it yeah. for you. I'm, I'm glad for that because, uh, we, we make a uh, quality weapon. It, even uh, those kumagongs are, are, are really good. Mm. Uh, yeah. Wow, you're going to be getting order. I'm definitely going to order. I need some good soft sticks. So, uh, yeah, it's a good soft stick. I haven't waited a couple yes. weeks for shipping either. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I'm getting, I'm okay. getting some. You're going to get about like three dozen orders of that. Yes. <laughs> Yes, Dean, Dean and Thomas has already an, an order, but I can ship this maybe after the lockdown, after... Yeah. No rush, uh, yeah, no, yeah. yeah, no rush, no rush. No rush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, no rush, yeah, no rush, yeah. Mm. No one ever is convenient yeah. for you guys. I'm just so sorry that you guys are back in lockdown, you know what I mean? I hope, I hope it doesn't last long, you know? 
Yep, fingers crossed. Mm. It's not good. I know, I know. Gosh. Ugh. So are they, my show, are they telling you how long it might last? I think it's two weeks. Initially, it's two weeks, isn't it? Yes, yes, two weeks for, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, two weeks, up to, up to the 20. Mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I don't mean that to scare some of our viewers, but I just want to ask if this is true. Is it true that in some areas there are shoot on-site orders if you violate, you know, the the barricades? They had videos early in the pandemic and like, it's not true. Yeah, it's not true. It's not true. Okay, cool. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's, that's good to hear. That's yeah. <laughs> It can't be that bad. Oh my gosh, come on. Um, uh, Maestro, what are your best selling items? Yes, the, the, the best selling items are the, the sticks, the, the, kamagong, the kamagong sticks. Okay. And for, for, the, for the itak, is like the pinuti. Yeah, that's a nice one. Mm, the pinuti nice one. And, and the barong also. And also the the you know we call this a down panay, down panay. Okay, 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 okay. What do you, um, Maestro? What do you sell for as sands and bars? Yeah, so the, so this is the sands bar. So, so now, are you selling? In, are you making uh, any metal or real? Live blades, or is it just the trainers? Yeah, yes, I, I have, I have trainers. I have trainers. I, I will send some pictures for your uh, uh, Facebook. Uh, yeah, yeah, I have also real, real uh, weapon, but to to ship a uh, real weapon. No, it's also, just gonna be dodgy. Yeah, it's gonna yeah, be hard. It's gonna yeah, be yeah, hard. It's yeah. No, no. But I have a lot of real weapon. Yeah, I know it's it's hard though to ship. I understand. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so, what else? Uh, um, do you guys have? Did you guys have any uh, questions, follow-ups? Nah. Tom, um, Julius. Um, I'm trying to look at uh, people sending me actual questions, and I I think we're tapped out. It's just that I just want to say I'm I'm geeking out right now because like this dude is like a legend. He's like the like Filipino equivalent here in the West of like the Gracie Challenge. He, he you know like like dojo breaking and like an undefeated dude. He was like straight hicksoning people when it comes to like hand and foot fighting. So I just I I don't know. It's just I never imagined I'd ever get to meet him. Oh yeah, this, 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 this is so awesome, you know. <laughs> March, oh. Julius, March. If we ever we go to the Philippines, we're gonna go to Mangboy. Yeah, Mangboy. Para makita ko po kayo. So I can meet you. Yes. <laughs> no, don't ever, just don't forget to, to visit me. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Mangboy, awesome. were you the one who trained uh, Zapata? Yeah, yeah, yes. Yes, yeah, Zapata is, is my, uh, is my like, like a little brother. When I oh, wow. when when I when I fight the Cebu in a uh, it's a it's a big fight in Cebu mm -hmm. and Sapata was there in in our gym watching watching I'm training and I approach him if he's interested to learn and he said I'm interested I mean I'm asking him if he wants to come to Manila and he said he can, he wants. After I bring him to Manila, I train him, I train uh, after a few years, he's, he's becoming a, a really good and he, yes. he tried to fight in the ring. Yeah. That's why Sapata mm -hmm. is one of my also. He's one of the he's one of the Yao Yan's uh, prize fighters, isn't he? He was yes. really good. Yeah, yeah, he's he good. good. He's good. Mm -hmm. Mm. So, um, Maestro, what what are your future goals? 
like, are you still teaming up with Maestro Arnold? I mean, the Masters way, but what are your future goals or what, what's coming down the pike as far as uh, future stuff? Yes, yes, yes. Our goal is to uh, to bring Yawian and Illustrismo uh, in, a, in a different uh, uh, country to teach in different people so that uh, we 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 help a lot a lot of people to to learn. Mm, okay, okay, no, that's great, great. Wow, that's nice. Do you guys, do you guys have anything else? Mm. No. Nah. Just, oh, uh, Mang Boy. So you said mm. earlier on, you were the ones who normally like supply the uh, shops in Quiapo, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. so you 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 knew uh, Tess Pastrana. Yes, yes, I know, I know him, I know him, I know her, I know her. Yeah, I, I used to get my, I used to get my gear from her, from Aikido to Arnis. Yes, yes, yes. I know, I know, I guess uh, Pastrana. Mm -hmm. But, but now I supply uh, anatomy. Uh, anatomy. Hindi na masyado yung supply ko sa Quiapo. Karamihan. Mm. I think it has died down. Quiapo has died down at, at, at one uh, point. Yeah. Medyo bumagsak yung, yung negosyo. That's why. Mm, mm. Tapos uh, masyadong mura kaya ano. Yeah. Uh, Nag-stop na rin ako mag-supply mag ng, ng ano sa Quiapo. Okay. Pero, pero marami ako sinusupplyan uh, with my kamagong so sa ibang bansa sa yeah sa, Japan, sa Australia meron mga dalawang tindahan sa Australia ako sino suplayan Japan meron din sa Germany yeah it's good it's good that your kamagong uh, line of uh, training blades are uh, steadily increasing outside you got a steady increasing market outside the Philippines mm. yep yes, sir. And you're gonna get more. <laughs> yeah, I think this show will uh, get more. Get you some, yeah. Definitely. I'm definitely in for those soft sticks. And uh, I think the brawn yeah. looks pretty nice. I think the sands of bar look pretty nice. And whatever else I can. Uh, yep. Get on there. You know? I'm gonna yes. get both uh, Japanese and Filipino training blades line from you. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, Dean, Dean, I'm telling you, when you go to the Philippines, you'll be like a king, man. You'll be so spoiled in there. But all these masters oh, want to yeah, like Dean. take a photo of me, like just Dean Franco of FMA discussion, man. <laughs> They're gonna like give give you a like a plaque, you know what I mean? Like a yeah, most I important know, thing. Man, man. Make not sure like, I'm not liked by everybody over there. So we, but no, we, most importantly, when you go there, make sure you get an extra luggage free of anything. Because you're gonna come back from the Philippines with that luggage. Oh, it's tough. Overflowing. I, you know, I wanna go, I wanna go um, I wanna go there and meet uh Brandon. Brandon he speaks very highly of you, Maestro. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Maestro, you, Maganda, Amaganda. you said something? Oh. Amaganda. Oh. Yung, yung mga equipment ko, um, ang binibigay ko ang magandang presyo. Mm, ang, you get a wholesale uh, price. Yeah. Uh, Pil Pil Pilipino, Amerikano, European. Pag bumili sa akin, ang presyo ko iba. The same. Mm -hmm. The same pareho lang. Tapos, kung mas marami, wholesale, mas, mas mababa yeah. yun. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah, we'll promote you. We'll promote you, Master. Yeah, absolutely. And your products, yeah, definitely. Yeah, when I posted yeah, the, yeah. Pics, the pics on yeah. FMA discussion of your weapons, uh, a lot of people really, they really like the, um, like your stuff there. So, you know, hopefully this and after the show, you know, you'll get some orders in, you know? Yeah. So. If, you can, if you can, like, put up a... A display of pictures, maybe an FMA discussion. Yeah, his, yeah. promote it. His his page. Yes. Uh, 
I, can I can I send pictures to FMA discussions? Sure. Or, oh my God! Oh, I, yeah. please do. Please do. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we can no, put no, it in the announcement. I, I, I knew if I knew about it, I would definitely I would have put it there. But yeah, anytime you want to share something there, please do. Yeah. yeah. I saw some. I saw some pictures. Uh, you from? I think it's from you. The the Spade Daga. Oh yeah, no, that's it. That's all the stuff I posted. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, post anything you want there for sure. Yeah. Come again. No, post anything you want there. Yeah, pwede po kayo mag-post sa FMA discussion, Mang Boy. Ah, sige, sige. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh, of course, anytime. Yeah, anything. Yeah. Whatever you want to post. Yeah, please do. Training blade porn. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't believe we have Mang Boy in the episode, man. This is so insane. Yeah. This guy's like a hero we, for us, like when I was a child. I think Sorry. we yeah. some yeah. for it. We were we were at the end anyhow. If we if we did lose him, if we did lose him, um, um, but it's not looking good. What's, what's so. our next episode after this, Dean? Because I'm going up north next this weekend. Uh, Tom. Wednesday, Dether. Um, yeah, and after that, I'm not so Dether. Dether Nuttle from Germany. Germany. Ah, uh, that's gonna be a big. Ask one. him about like size advantages. That dude's a giant compared to Filipinos. <laughs> I mean, how tall okay. is he? Like six, six two or six five, somewhere around there. Six five. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Six, yeah. Yeah. He's he's a pretty big guy, man. He's big. He's like George. I know, I, know, I know. he's tall. I didn't know he's six five though. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh. So just, uh, easy. I, I, yeah. Ask me about like how the range <laughs> changes. Yeah. No signal. Okay. No. So, uh, no, Mister. We're just um. Uh, you know, we just want to say, you know, all of the matters was thank you for coming in. You know? I don't know what that's coming. Okay. We want to thank you, want to thank you for coming the on the out. show. You guys want to? Yes. Yes, Dean, can I get, come again, Dean? Yeah, no, no, no. I wanted to thank you so much for coming on the show. Uh, yes, thank, thank you also for, for having me for your show and oh, yeah. helping me for, for my business. Oh, and my God. Promoting, yeah. And promoting Yao Yan also. Yeah, absolutely, anytime. And uh, please post anything you want on FMA discussion. Yeah. It was an excellent interview, Mang Boy. Thank you for sharing yeah. your knowledge and your experience. Salamat to, makait na na ano na nairapan na ako. At least nandyan kayo. Hindi mm -hmm. okay lang po. Okay yeah, lang. I'm, I'm, I'm still checking my messenger if there's any more questions, but they're not. So they just came pouring in. So right, thank you. Again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank po, thank Mang you, Boy. Bye bye. Thank you. Salamat. Salamat. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Wow, that was uh, that was good, man. Huh? Yeah. The scorpion that kick. Man, that's that's pretty nasty. <laughs> wow. Yeah, the scorpion kick. Yeah, it's yeah. It, it's it's their trademark and their ball of punch. It's their but trademark. I'm, I'm telling you, Dean is scary because like Vaughn was showcasing that to me yesterday, and it that person already outflanked you. Mm. So so it's like um where did they go and then you just get hit yeah, with the man, man, kick man. that's generating any a force between one thousand eight hundred to two thousand five hundred psi. Yeah, so, I mean yeah, I know you're done. Um, Kavon is gonna come on here. <laughs> Kavon, still there, Kavon? <laughs> I, I hope he doesn't. I hope he. I hope he doesn't get mad at me. I got it mad. Tonight. <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah, he's supposed to. Matter of fact, I'm supposed to be with him or talk to him. So uh, yeah. But, uh, Wednesday, don't forget, you're supposed to talk to him Wednesday. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was just joking. Don't don't ignore me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so yeah, folks that are watching on um, Wednesday night, uh, Master Dieter from Germany, Minor Nice, interviewed by uh, Guru Tom Pena. Then Thursday, 
Francis Serrano, um, really interesting guy, posts different stuff to kind of trigger, you know, um, conversation and all that. I think some really, yeah. some good mm -hmm. stuff. Whoever wants to jump in um, with me on that one, uh, Tom, if you're available, Judith, if you're available, let me know. What time is it going to be? That is, uh, I got it right here, Matt. But, um, that is this Thursday at yep. 5 o'clock. By time, That's five o'clock. Um, your time. I, yeah, let me just let me just make sure on that, just so I'm not giving the wrong information. But um, man, what could it, this just couldn't have disappeared. Um, five. Um, actually, three p.m. Let me double check on that. But I'm pretty sure uh, on definitely on the fifth, Thursday the fifth. And uh, okay, let me double just, check on the time. But yeah, just message me. Yeah, but yeah, but if you if, wanna, I, if I if I can join you, I'll join you. Um, but yeah, so that should be. Um, but again, no, that should be. And then after that, I'm not sure who we got. We've got Julius, that. I think. Oh, you got actually on the seventh, eighth. You got seven, yes, eight. sir. It, so so please look forward to that uh, FMA discussion, folks. Uh -huh. I'll be interviewing uh, Mel Orpilia of the Villas Vil Vil Sin line at Balintawak, mm -hmm. and also Emil Bautista which is one of the basically original um, Kaju guys. He's had a dojo in the United States since 1968. Wow. It's like summer mm. of love era. So, so, <laughs> I wasn't I mean, even like, born yet. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's 83. So he's like one of the, the, the golden men of Kaju, right? I think All I'm right. under Imperador, right? So it's like, I am looking forward to this episode. This is going to be an awesome weekend for me. Yeah. And then nice. and then D Dean, I'm like you. Like, you know, when I travel, I'm gonna meet up with like an entire group of like golden people, man. We're like gang up, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah golden uh, circle of uh, FMA. Uh, yeah, it just happened to work out, you know what I mean? Uh, but I would have felt bad if I didn't go visit GM Bobby. So um yeah, I'm I'm glad I'm glad it happened, you know. Um, I'm gonna see C J and uh ho hopefully this weekend as well. And and Greg. Jay Jasper oh. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna be you're gonna be doing a little of the tennis ball? We're, we're gonna we're gonna congregate all these like cool FMAs. <laughs> oh that's yeah. <laughs> oh, nice the round be, table, man. I bet you enjoy yourself. Those guys are fun. Those guys are fun. Um but uh yeah, I'm just trying to find here the fifth of PM. Yeah, let me just double check that time just to make sure whose street is. Is it his three o'clock or is it my three o'clock? Um all right. I just want to make sure on that, but uh, yeah, I'll find that out for sure. Yeah, just just message me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, gotta, oh wait, I gotta make that flyer for you, right? Dieters. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, for you photo. Okay. I'm writing that down now. Okay. That's going out. Um, okay. Definitely. Definitely. All right. I'm writing it down now so I don't forget. Dieters flyer. And that's uh, what, at what time again, Wednesday? Uh, I think it's about 10 o'clock UK time or 9 o'clock UK time. Oh, great. I, I'm on a break. 9 p.m.? <laughs> yeah. So 9 p.m. So 9 p.m. UK time, 10 uh, Central, Central Europe. But what about for you, as far as New York time? Uh, New York? Or, I mean, You're five hours ahead. Yeah, right. we are. I'm five hours ahead. So it would be four p.m. New York time. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Got it. I'm on lunch time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I'll get that out for sure. For sure. Watch that. All right, guys. As always, thank you for joining me. It was a pleasure. No worries. To with me. Appreciate it. Appreciate yeah, man. With the Joe Rogan. With the Joe Rogan of FMA, man. You're the Oprah of FMA. No, I appreciate it. I always <laughs> appreciate you guys taking the load because I can't do all these interviews. Well, if I want to be single, I could. <laughs> 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 no, if I, had the, if I had the goal of being single. <laughs> so, yeah. Enough all so right. Weird. All right, guys. You guys take care. Okay. All right. I need to sleep now. It's already 3 a.m. here. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh my no God. worries. It was, right. um, it was a great interview, man. It was a great interview. Oh, I keep Thank forgetting. You. I know. I just figured you'd want to jump in. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> no worries. No worries. All right.
Thank you. you. Thanks. Take care. Take care. Stay safe. All right, folks, you got it. So, uh, yeah, Wednesday night, uh, Master Dieter from uh, Germany. That's going to be uh, 9 o'clock London time, 4 p.m. Eastern time. And then Thursday, Francis Serrano and all that time worked out. But if you haven't already, um, a family discussion, uh, you can join where you can see this uh, interview and other great ones. All right. Thank you. And see you next time.